On this episode, we talk real estate, business, and the EB-5 program. I'm Rodrigo Aspurua, the CEO of Riviera Point Development. program is a, a visa program from the USCIS, the United States Citizen and Immigration Service, where every foreign national that invests one million dollars in a project that can create 10 jobs in the next two years can be a, a U.S. resident, can be can have a green card. Who usually applies for the EB-5 program with your group? Everyone, every citizen of the world, every country is qualified to be a uh, green uh, card holder mm -hmm. and to invest in EB-5. What is important is that uh, have earned the money in a legal way that we can vet that at least $500,000 has been earned in a legal way okay. and that is not a well-known terrorist. So we need to do a, do a background check on every, in, on every applicant. When an investor applies, that visa is good for him, the spouse, and the children under uh, 21 years old. They're not married. Okay, so you say legally earned. Can it be a gift or funds, yes. in, inherited funds? We have many young clients that are in the early 20th, the 20s, and they cannot, they cannot uh, show how they have earned $500,000. So the parents they, you know, do a gift, a donation, okay. and they apply with a gift. It's a very, very common uh, way of doing it. Okay, and how safe is the EB-5 program? Well, it depends, it depends on the project. It's okay. very important that each investor those are proper due diligence on each investment. Okay. The program is good, but the program also says that, that the money has to be at risk. And let's develop a little bit about this. Yeah. Many, many countries are used to, uh, to lose value in their currency. So they relate an investment with purchasing a real estate asset. Right. But that's an asset purchase, that's not investment. Investment is when you take uh, money, human resources, and you pursue an objective that doesn't exist today. A building that does not exist today, right. that's gonna to be built, a hotel that's gonna be operated. But that's where it's investment. So the, the loss is gonna be at risk. Many developers try to tweak this and, and, and try to relate risk with bad investment. <laughs> okay, so the investor gotta be very careful and do the proper due diligence and be sure that it's a good investment, but it's not an asset purchase. Okay, well give me a little bit of history on the Riviera Point development. Sure, we started to develop uh, um, office buildings in 2011 with the EB-5. Uh, uh, I'm originally from Venezuela, I've been here in the United States since 2001, and since then, with the current project, we have developed 1.2 million square feet of office space and hotels. And in 2011, we started to use the EB-5, and so far, we have raised over $50 million, wow. and more than 160 uh, individuals are uh, green card holders. Because of your group? Because of investment they have done. You know. That's one.